Hi guys. This is the Agrotech. Today you will learn how to run multiple desktop on Windows 10. You will probably ask why or do you even need it? Well, I will show you how. Imagine that you are at work and you have a lot of tabs, documents, and applications running. For you not to interfere those process, maybe you need to open a clear separate desktop for you to do your other activities. Before we proceed, I would like to ask a favor. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the bell button for more interesting tutorials. Thank you. Multiple desktop is applicable for Windows 10 only, you can do with any versions of Windows 10. Let's proceed, go down to the taskbar and look for the task view. If you don't see the task view then go to the blank taskbar area, right click on it then you can click choose show task view button to enable it. You can also access it through the shortcut key by pressing the windows key plus the tab at the same time. Now, let's click on the task view, you will see the applications that are currently running on our main desktop. Scroll down and you will see the things you have accessed in the past. To add a new desktop, go to the top left and you will see the option new desktop. Click on it and you will see there is additional desktop created. You can see our main desktop is desktop 1 and the ones we created is desktop 2. To add more desktop, simply click on the plus sign. There is no specific limit for desktops creation, you can close other desktop by pointing on it and click on the X sign. Now, let's go to desktop 2 which we just created. You can see it's a clear desktop. None of the applications open on the main desktop are open here. It's just a clone of your main desktop with clean state so you can see everything is identical. You can see all the applications shortcuts and folders are the same. But, if you add or delete something from one of your desktop, all the other desktop will follow. Let's test to create a folder on desktop 2. Now, let's switch to our main desktop and you will see it's also present. You can easily switch desktop by clicking on the task view and go back and forth. When I'm doing my work, I don't want to interfere with my main desktop so I will switch to desktop 2 to do some other activities. Let's say I want to edit something for my YouTube channel, so my main desktop would be for my work and my desktop 2 would be for my editing. Now, let's say if you are currently running some applications from your main desktop and you want to continue it on other desktop without closing the application, assuming you want to transfer these applications to desktop 2. Open the task view and you will see the application you want to transfer, you can simply drag it to any desktop you want. Notice that the application already transferred and running in desktop 2. Now, let's say you want to open another desktop for your video streaming, click the task view again then click on the plus sign to add new desktop. Let us open YouTube for this desktop. You have now three desktops running, you can also rename the desktops for your reference. To do this, right click on it then click rename, since desktop 1 is for my work then I will name it work. Desktop 2 is for editing then I name it editing. Desktop 3 is for my streaming so I'll give that name for it. All the three desktops are now running with labels. Now we are going to the keyboard shortcut keys. First is switching the desktop. You can press Ctrl plus Windows plus left or right arrow. We are currently on desktop 1 or work, we can press Ctrl plus Windows plus left arrow to move to desktop 2 or editing. Now we are on desktop 2. You can do the same process again to go to desktop 3. Next is creating new desktop, you can press Windows, Ctrl plus D to create new one. You can now see that we have new desktop created which is desktop 4. You can press the keyboard shortcut keys again to create more if you want. 
Now, let's say you don't need the desktop 5 anymore and you want to close it, simply press Windows plus Ctrl plus F4. It will close the desktop 5 and brings us to desktop 4. You can now see that the desktop 5 has been eliminated. You can press the shortcut keys again to close the current desktop. It will bring us to desktop 3 or streaming, as you can see the Opera browser with YouTube is there. Now, let's say you accidentally quit or you just close one desktop with some applications running. Good thing is it doesn't have the ability to close application itself instead, it will be transferred to the last active desktop. Notice that this application running from desktop 3 has been transferred to desktop 2 which is amazing. You can see we are now on desktop 2 and the desktop 3 is gone. Now, we have these running applications again, what happens if we just close this desktop is all these applications currently running will be transferred to desktop 1 or our main desktop. I will press Ctrl plus Windows plus F4 to close desktop 2. Notice that all the applications running from desktop 2 has been transferred to my main desktop. You can see the Opera, the editing softwares and my working applications. To view the current desktop, click on the task view and you will see that no other desktop is present, only the main desktop is running. Lastly, we are going to open multiple desktop and applications on each desktop and reboot the PC, let's see what happens. Desktop 1 is running this GNS3. Let's open another desktop and open another application which is the Photoshop. Also, we are going to open three more desktops so we have a total of five desktop currently running. Desktop 1 is GNS3, Desktop 2 is Photoshop while 3, 4 and 5 are blank. It's just a clean slate. Now, let's reboot the PC and see what are the changes after reboot. Okay, welcome back, so this is it after reboot. This is our main desktop or Desktop 1. You can see the applications has been closed and that's totally normal. Let's now check if we still have the other desktops created. Great. All the five virtual desktop are still present, just the applications automatically close which is normal after reboot. Now you know what happens if you reboot your PC with multiple desktop currently running. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. I really hope you like this video. For more corrections, suggestions, and comments, feel free to drop it below. Again, please like, share, click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.